We all know that ICP brings something different to the table with its RPC canister technology. And then you've got Ethereum with its EVM smart contract compatibility. Bring the two together and then you've got something big and it's happening. News is huge for crypto and it is breaking right now. So the crypto ICP, it's approaching the kingdom of Ethereum. It doesn't get much bigger than Ethereum as far as smart contracts are concerned. That's the place to be. Thunderous announcement has just shaken up the landscape. The arrival of the EVM RPC canister in beta version marks a giant leap towards a long awaited merge between ICP, crypto and colossal Ethereum. So this is in beta mode. It's been tested at the moment. It's in its early stages. And this, like I say, is going to be huge. What it does is it allows for interoperability between things that are EVM compatible and not EVM compatible, merge them together and let the chains work in sync. So the EVM RPC canister presents itself as a fluid crypto gateway facilitating integration between ICP smart contracts and those of Ethereum. And one of the major contributions of the EVM RPC canister lies in its ability to guarantee the security of dApps. It's all about security on the network and this enhances that. With the ingenious mechanism of automatic consensus interference, each outgoing request to multiple RPC providers ensures unprecedented reliability and crypto data integrity. So it's a bridge between two giants and an example of rapid implementation perfectly illustrates the ease in which developers can now weave links between ICP and Ethereum, paving the way for a multitude of unprecedented cross-chain applications. Although the project is still in its infancy, the prospects for improving and expanding its features are vast and feedback from the crypto community is going to play a key role in the evolution of EVM RPC canister technology over a period of time. Let me know in the comments what you think about this huge news. And now we're down to the technicals. ICP currently trading at $13.15. We haven't had much price movement since the last video, so we're going to do things a bit differently. And I'm going to mix this with tutorial again. And what we're going to talk about in this video is confluence. And what confluence is, is an area of support and resistance that backs up your thesis. It backs up the direction direction of where you expect price action to move next. And I'm going to show you a few examples because we've got different types of traders all looking at different entries or looking at different prices on a chart. But when those entries and the prices end up in the same area, that gives us confluence. And we've got moving average traders, we've got indicator traders, you've got price action traders, you've got support and resistance traders, you've got candlestick pattern traders, all these different types of traders have got eyes on different things. And this gives us confluence when those eyes are on the same area of the chart that where our area of thesis is. So just an example, we've got a trend line here. So for all the trend line traders that are waiting for a breakout, you've got the breakout, they've took their entry on the break, and now they're looking for higher levels. So you've got the breakout traders there, you've got the moving average traders, we've got the 20 moving average sat here, and you've got the 50 moving average sat here. That's acted as support. So you've got the moving average traders taking longs at this position. What it allows for is tight stop losses. When everyone's wrong, price goes below, below there. But the higher the probability and the higher the confluence, the higher the chance that this is going to act as support because you've got buy orders, buy orders, buy orders. You've got the moving average buy orders. You've got the trend breakout buy orders. What else have we got? We can have a look. Stick a Fibonacci extension on there, a Fibonacci retracement from the previous swing low. Have we had a reaction anywhere? You can see here, we've had a reaction at the 61.8% retracement. That's a healthy retracement. And you can see that it's been rejected once, twice. You expect that to happen because it's a 61.8% retracement. So what we can do, we can just pull this Fibonacci retracement from the previous low to the high. And we know a healthy retracement in a bullish trend is a 38.2%. You can see here, 38.2%. So look what you've got here now. You've got the confluence of the breakout and the retest of the trend. You've got the confluence of the 20 moving average and the 50 moving average. And then you've got the confluence of people that have got the 38.2% retracement and looking for an extension of that. Come back down, retested 38.2%. You've got four different types of traders trading this breakout. So that's why confluence can be on your side. And the ultimate goal is to take this guy out. It's about time that he got put back up to his perch at higher levels. And it's about time this bull 
regained previous resistance to become support. The previous resistance to become support is sitting at the bottom of 1456 and the top end at $15.78. So that's where we need to take out in the short term. So all eyes on ICP over the next couple of days. If you did like this, check out my ICP playlist and I'll see you in the next one.